What's going on, y'all? It's another episode of Free Lunch, Free Food for Your Soul. Here bright and early in the studio again today with another unplugged episode with just your boy, The Real Free. Big shout out to the sponsors this season, Dobie and Rollins, helping you love your smile. Shout out to Free Branding LLC, the best version of your brand starts here. And don't forget to hit up my other sponsors in the description of the episode. Their links are right there. Big ups to my man over at Track Major Productions, the best producer in the area. If you need a unique sound, he's well versed. And don't forget to hit up our other links, like I said, in the description of each and every single episode, y'all. Also, we are gearing up for the new year. And as we approach the new year, we are also getting that closer to episode 100. So I have some really, really exciting ideas, some awesome things in store for you guys for the 100th episode. So, so excited. So today, what was really on my heart coming into the studio was, um, you know, how much we as entrepreneurs, those of us, you know, who are working the vision, um, working the plan and the passion, how much we really need encouragement. And, um, you know, from, for most times, you know, many of us are driven, you know, we could kind of put our head down, you know, sort of, uh, hand to the plow, tunnel vision focused. And, um, you know, that, that can go for a while, you know, we could be good. Um, but we occasionally need that, that support, um, that sort of, you know, random friend or person to just remind you that they see you and, um, they believe in you, uh, even if you haven't, what they say, haven't popped yet, you know? So, um, I was able to be blessed enough, man, to, you know, get one of those phone calls yesterday. And, uh, it really, really, it really felt good to just be encouraged in that way. And, you know, it doesn't have to be the people that you talk to every day. It doesn't have to be. In fact, it probably actually is more impactful if it isn't the people that you hear from every day or talk to regularly. You know, when it's somebody you haven't spoken to for a while that randomly reaches out and just says, you know what? Hey, man, I just want you to know I see you. Um, You know, hey, man, I see you out there working hard, man. I know you got the the baby in the studio every day with you, man. You still pushing, man. You still making moves. Um, that's a really dope feeling, you know. So I appreciate all of you who, you know, whether you send me a text message or, um, you know, actually, you know, give me a phone call. Uh, which is why also, too, you know, I'm one of those people who I don't change my phone number. Um, I've had the same phone number for almost 20 years now. And, um, part of the reason I keep that number originally why I, you know, started to keep my number to never change it was as my kids got older, I never wanted them to have to be, you know, worry about memorizing another phone number. So I always kept the same phone number for them to have a number that they could always easily remember, no matter how much time goes by, they're always going to know daddy's number. Um, but as I, you know, as time gone on, as went on. I've also found like the benefit of just keeping the same number, especially as you grow as a creative, as you grow as an entrepreneur, as you're growing your brand and your business and growing in influence, growing in notoriety, let's say, you know, it really kind of helps, um, does two things. One, I think it keeps you humble, right? The, the people who knew you way back when, who, you know, had your math, you know how we say had your number from way back when, um, they're they're able to stay connected to you, um, sort of keep you remindful, you know, mindful of your roots, where you came from. They're able to, you know, keep in touch with you. But also, um, it kind of is a barrier, too, for, you know, kind of like the saying goes, like the whole no new friends type thing. Like, you know, if you if you have my number at this point, um, my personal number you're probably uh, 
a person who has, you know, expressed some type of affinity and belief in me or connectedness with me um, in some of these infant stages of my journey. And so for that sake, you know, I want those people to have my number. I want those people to stay connected to me. But then the other thing, man, you know, uh, you sort of have to shield against is, you know, people who do have that connection to you or that ability to reach you, um, really kind of being like, uh, I don't want to say leeches, um, but people who are, they come off as like opportunists, you know what I mean? Like they're people that you don't, you may not hear from them no other time. Um, you don't hear from them regularly at all, but when you do hear from them, is, you know, always to, you know, take from you. And that could be hard when it's people that you actually care about. You know what I mean? When you actually care about the people who do end up transforming and becoming those opportunists in your life, it's hard to have that, to draw that line and have that, that boundary because you actually care about them and, and you actually want to help them. Like you want to see them win but it's the most difficult thing when, like, you also can see that that's the only time I hear from you, man. It's like when you like when you need something, when you want something, you know what I mean. And it's and it's and it's equally disheartening when there are things that's that are happening in your life that you know they can see, or they you know have wind of, or you know got word of, and they don't re reach out to you to offer a you know. A, a console or, um, you know, check in, are you okay? You know what I mean? Like, uh, but they definitely gonna hit you up for the, you know, can I hold something or, uh, you know, like that's just, it's just, it's really painful, man. It's really, really painful. But you know, how are, I, I'm curious to know, like, how are you guys, you know, dealing with that and balancing that? You know what I mean? Like, how do you defend against that when it's, and I don't mean like when it's like just some average Joe Smo, you know, a coworker at your job or, you know, I'm talking about when it's actually people that you care about, people in your family, um, close friends, man, like people who just over time, as you are trying to grow, you know, in your journey, you see that they are just opportunists you know all they want to do is take from you and so you really got to have some type of like mechanism man in place to you know shield from that I know you know being married many times I know my wife could be that person it's same for me in my case me you know me be that person for her is like when people are just taken from that energy and you know taken from your spouse or taken from people that are just your family that you're close to you know, when you're acting as a barrier, um, you know, sometimes it takes you to be able to, like, step in for your spouse or, you know, step in for that loved one because they are so close to the person who is the opportunist that they are not strong enough to put the boundary up or the hard stop themselves. You know what I mean? So... My wife has had to be that person for me um, to be like an advocate, to step in the gap. I've had to be that for my wife. And, um, you know, I'm grateful, super grateful for that. Because, again, like, who wants to really be bothered with that, man? Like, who wants to be stressed with even having to do that? Like, you want to really, when you're that entrepreneur creative, man, and you're trying to, like, build your brand, focus on your business, grow that, like, you really don't have time, like, you really barely have time to do that and balance your family and your household. So to have the, the business, you know, the stresses and the challenge of that, growing that, to have the family and the challenges of balancing that, and then also now I got to deal with, man, how I'm going to tell this dude or how I'm going to tell this, this family member or this friend, yo, that, like, listen, I love you, but we got to draw the line here or, and that sucks, man. Like, I'm going to just keep it a buck, y'all. Like, that really sucks. 
Because really inside, most of us, man, like, especially if you're a creative, like, I done consulted with so many individual, like, business owners, entrepreneurs that are not, like, creative per se. But, like, when it's, when I'm dealing with any other creatives like me, most of us at heart, man, you know, like, we love and giving people. Like, this is what we do. Like, we love to give back to people. We love to, like, sow into people. We, you know what I mean? Because I, I get, probably because, like, a large part of who we are as creatives, we know we need that. We, th- we thrive off of that, that same energy. Right. So, you know, when you just got to like, feel like you got to become somebody that really at your core, you not, but it's like, I gotta be this way right now with you. Cause you taking advantage. Like, ah, uh, like, like low key, high key. Like I gotta be different. I gotta be different, man, with you. So, yo, I'm sure, like I said, a lot of y'all are experiencing that same, you know, challenge. Let me know, man. You know, uh, hit me in a DM even or in the comments. You know, how are you guys, you know, dealing with that? You know, as you're trying to grow the opportunities. Um, Also, how are you, again, navigating, um, you know, how I talked about at the beginning of this segment, you know, receiving from people who just are sewing into you randomly, calling you up, encouraging you, like, like, how are you trying to be mindful of doing that for other people? You know what I mean? Make sure, you know, we always talk about, you know, you want to be the change you wish to see, you know? So I know I, you know, from time to time, I'm inspired to like, you know what, let me just, you know, I see so-and-so or my man's or shorty doing great things on social media, whatever. Let me just call him up, tell him like, yo, I see you, man. You killing it. Keep going. Um, I do that in the comments a lot of times on people's posts. Um, so yeah, hit me up, man. Let me know how you guys are, um, how you guys are, you know, rolling that out, man. Sowing those seeds again. How also are you drawing the boundaries for all of the foolishness? (laughs) It's free lunch, free food for your soul, y'all. Peace.